Hello, in this video we'll be looking at Google Notes or Google Key, both the same thing essentially, just slightly different apps, but they both have the same data in them. So we'll have a quick look at them and why it's so good to be using Google Notes or Google Key on your Chromebook because it makes productivity so much easier and it's so much easier to be able to refer back to things. So it's something you should definitely be using on your Chromebook and we'll have a look at that in the video coming up. So I'm not the best when it comes to keeping notes. I'm quite bad for just right, jotting things down, pieces of paper and stuff like that. But it's just not the best way of dealing with things. And it wasn't really until I was doing a video for my YouTube channel about two weeks ago on how to install Microsoft Windows, Windows 10 on a Chromebook. If you want to know how to do that, have a look at my channel and you'll see it there. And I had to make some notes because I come across a few issues, obviously, like you would expect whilst doing it. So that's when I realized really I need to start using Keep Notes or Google Keep. The first thing just to explain, Google Keep and Keep Notes is essentially the same thing. I don't know why they have two different things just to confuse matters. It's just, I don't know why they do that. But Google Keep is essentially linked to your Google account. So you should always have this available on your Chromebook and it's available on anyone who's using it logged in to their Google account on any computer as such. And as you can see, I've got some notes added here. And this is what it looks like here. It's all fine. They roughly look the same. Um, the one I tend to use though is Google Keep, or Keep Notes, should I say, which is an Android app. Because you can see here, it's got use it as a tablet, use it as a phone or I could do resizable like that for example and maximize that out like that um, and so this is the app version which is the version I'm going to use so just to quickly show you so I will put it back down into tablet mode I don't think we need it in anything other than that so these are the notes and what I like is it's quite easy to go on here and add a note so I'll show you some of the notes I did just to show you what I mean and I'll show you how you can then add your own notes and why it's so beneficial to use. So one of the issues I had when I was trying to install Windows was I couldn't do this error message so I just couldn't fix. So I had to do a lot of hunting around on the internet and then I found a page that helped me and that was this one here. So on this note I've created this note. If I click on the notes it then opens the notes on the right hand side. But as you can see I didn't leave any notes. All I left was the actual web address and it was a Reddit community where I got the help from with that. So once you click on to the note, I could just click on that. And as you can see, it puts a little image of the um, website there, which is quite nice. It's quite a visual thing. I can click on there or right on that and it will go straight to there. So that's really beneficial. So if you ever come across a website and it's got information on that you might want to refer to later then I would definitely make a note of that in here and as you can see you can open it up like that or if you just go back there we close that frame you, when you put in a website on a note that little icon there if you click on that and that will take you straight to the website rather than open up the notes so I think that is really beneficial because there's loads of websites we use and we look at something, we are, it's really good information, but unless you've got the time to do a bookmark it, you don't want hundreds of bookmarks on your browser, and unless you've got the time to make a note of it or anything like that, you forget about it. So that's why it's a real good idea to create it as a note. And it's really simple, so let's just do a basic one. So obviously this wouldn't be, but I'll just go to the BBC website. Let's just click on anything, so Eurovision here. So say for if this was something I really want to look at again in the future, it could be any sort of website that you want to. Just a case of simply control C, copy that, just close that down, just create a new note, just paste it in, make a title if you want, BBC, click back, and that's it, that's it, it's there. So you'll know that it's always there for you in the future. And then if you click on there, it's there as well. Click on that and then you can open that and it takes you straight back to that web page. So I think that's really beneficial. 
And generally speaking, it's going to be beneficial for things. And as you can see, it's took a while, but it's then actually gone and captured an image from that website, which again, I think the visual aspect of that, one, it will make it easier because if I had lots of notes and I wanted to go for the Windows one, quickly scroll down, uh, there's that Windows desktop I can see there. That's the one I want. So it's not just visually pleasing, it helps as well, which is good. Um, so also with your notes, what you could do, for example, you could start thinking, I want to manage them a bit more. So you could go down the route of, in here, I've, I've got an issue when I was installing more Windows. I'm going to do a video about this as well, by the way. Certain things happen when you install Windows 10 after if you followed that video, which you might come across again later on once you shut down your Chromebook, turn it on the next day. You can come up against a few issues, and I've made a note of them. So I've decided to just keep a note of certain things here, and then you could put a color on one, for example, like that. And you can even do a background and a color, or just a background, and then click out of there and when when you go on to separate notes it it you've got the color and the background or if we got rid of that background here I struggle to go back to the background where there's no background which I found quite strange but if you do the arrow to the left I did it that way and then I've just got the color there you can change it to that color there just click off then like that and as you can see now that's got a color and the good thing is that is note specific. So it's not just for all of them. So certain notes, I could do a certain color and then other notes relating to something else. I could do a different color like that. Again, just making it really ident easily to identify certain notes. And also again, if you just want to do it for, vis for visual reasons as well. So that's really nice. And again, you can do the background, which is also quite nice. So like that, for example, you could take off the color, just have a background, just to make it a bit more pleasant to do. So I do like that, um, how that all works. So a few other things you can do here. So to make a note, again, you just click on there, the plus signs, dead easy, just put a title, type in your notes, something really easy to go back to. So let's do a quick note. Um, you obviously don't think this replaces a calendar, because I'm going to do a quick note, um, I don't know, uh, defrost the chicken, for example. Obviously, I don't think you do notes, but you might do. And then here, you can do a reminder here. So click a reminder later today at 6 p.m. Click on that, and you could make a note. So I don't think you do need to do a note <laughs> for that, but take the chicken out of the freezer obviously i'm doing down these notes but this you see what i'm saying here what you can do and then that's left a reminder on there for you as well so that's quite good and you can see there that there's a reminder there as well for you and also you can pin so if you pin it what that should do is pin it to the top there so if we maximize this a bit now be sizable allow as you can see, it's now pinned that one to the top. So urgent ones, you can pin to the top, or ones that you use quite a lot, you can pin to the top. Once you've done it and you don't need it at the top anymore, just the case of clicking into it and unpinning like that, which is all good as well. And then that will take it off from being pinned. So in relation to the notes that you can take, I've just showed you one where you can type in a note. There's an audio note, which I thought I'd try. But the only reason I come up against an error message, you can try and see, I come up, it says I need an app, and I clicked on get app, it just says your device is incompatible with this version. Not too sure what that is, because the app is just Google. Google, so I'm a bit confused on what that app is, but personally I don't use audio notes, so I haven't put much effort into that. But you can have a try and see if that, if that works for you. Okay, and you've got one here is a drawing notes. Again, you might there might be a reason why you want to do that. So you could do that and you can leave a quick drawing notes. Not sure why, but I'm sure somebody might have a reason why you'd want to use something like that. So you could do that and then click back and that notes there for you then. 
and then you can leave the title and notes for that as well. So it could be that you've got an idea and you want to jot something out, the idea is going to look or something, you can leave notes, which is quite good. Um, if, for example, you wanted to remove the notes, just simply click on it like that, and it opens up this end, and you just go to the three dots down here and just do delete. So I'm just going to delete that one there. Okay, so the next one is a picture one, new photo note, which is quite good as well. So you could do a new photo note and you could either choose an image or you could take a photo. So you could take a photo like that. And that's just taking a photo of my actual webcam, um, which is quite bizarre. Why would I want to take a note of that? That's quite strange. But I guess this is what we've got to realize with this is this is more to do, I guess, if you was using this on your phone because it's an Android app. So if you was out and about and you wanted to take a picture of something to remind you of something later, you could do a quick new photo, take photo, take a photo of something, and then attach a note to it. So that that, that makes sense as well. Or you obviously got choose image as well. So you could, for example, say if you just had an error on something here and you needed to look into it and you didn't want to forget where it was because these things can happen or say if you went further down into your settings and it was something on your settings that you wanted to look into further, you could take a picture of where the issue is like that and capture that. And then you could go back to your notes so you don't forget and then do that picture one and then choose image and choose that screenshot. I've chosen the wrong one, but it doesn't matter. That's fine. I'll just do the other one as well. We'll leave that one. Choose image and it's this one here. And then just open. And then that's the one you've just taken. And that's this one here. Just click on it there and you could put a title. Um, Chrome OS settings issue and then you could just make a quick note need to look into um, enable verified access I don't know anything like that it's just so you, you, you the note is also jogging your memory with an actual image so that is quite good if there was a system thing where you complete always forgot a certain system um, command you had to do you can make an image of it so you it jogs your memory where you need to go as well so I think it is really useful but as you can see what that would, does then it does create more notes for you here so it's about being able to manage these notes a bit more if you click up here this will enlarge it so it can take away this white frame here and it puts your notes all the way across like that um, and then when you click on a note, it just pops the note up in front of you. You can still do all the things that you need to do. But it just puts it all on a bigger display rather than it separated. And you can always go back like that as well. But what you could do if you wanted to start managing things a little better, you could do create a label, which is I think would be the best thing to do. So if I created a light label, and I could, for example, do Linux commands. Because there's a lot of Linux commands I use. I'm no Linux expert. And some of them I have started to remember over time, because you all do naturally. But there's other commands that I won't. And when I need to go and use them, I have to go onto Google and check. And then sometimes I'm like, no, that's not the command I was using last time. And by the time you've done all that, it's just a waste of time. So things like Linux commands is a label that I would definitely be using in the future. And then you could just create that Linux command like that. So you've got that label. And you can create other labels as well, obviously. And then if we go back, and then, for example, I've got one, which is Linux commands. Where are they? It's this one. I'll change the color so I can recognize it. I'll just get rid of that color for now. OK, so this one here is Linux commands. I click on that. And then it's opened up here. And then if you click on the three dots here, you can see that there's a label. 
and then you choose the label so you could have lots of labels and I'm going to put that under Linux commands like that and then let's put that under the Linux commands label okay so then you can see there it's got a label like that so that's quite good because then if you click on that it just puts it, it gives it more in order of your Linux commands and what it should do it should then make it easier let's just close it down and put it back up it should then make it easy to find certain things so if on here you can see their label and you've got Linux commands so you can click on that and it'll just bring up that one rather than lots um, yes Google keep, keep notes is the Android app but even though we've done them changes on the Android app if you could go onto Google keep you'll see that all them changes have updated in here so essentially it's the same app it's just a different interface on how it works um, so I hope you like that video that is just a quick look I'm sure there's lots more that we could look at but it's just a quick look at Google Keep Notes and why it's a great thing to use on your Chromebook. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.